Hey guys, it's Danny B. Now, this weekend, NASCAR is going to be racing on Easter Sunday at the Bristol Motor Speedway for the first time in a long time that NASCAR has ever raced on Easter Sunday. I think it's been way before my time, that's for sure. But I've seen a lot of people talking about this on Twitter this week, and you know, it's a very understandable topic. How do Christian NASCAR fans feel about NASCAR racing on Sunday? Being Easter Sunday, that is. Of course, NASCAR races on most Sundays, so, you know, it's kind of one of those things you kind of have to accept if you're a NASCAR fan and you also, you know, believe in, you know, the Word of God in a Christian sense. The Sabbath for Christians is usually celebrated on Sundays because in our eyes, that's the day that we remember Jesus Christ rising from the dead, that being Easter Sunday. So Easter Sunday in particular is the one where, you know, we, we definitely feel like we're conflicted about going to church. Me, myself, I will be at the race this Sunday, even as a believer in the Word of God. I am a Christian. I will admit that. How do I feel about this, though? How do I feel about being at a racetrack instead of a church? In a little ways, I do feel okay about this. And here's why I feel okay about this. One, Bristol Motor Speedway is going to have ways for Christians to still celebrate the holiday and what it is. They're actually going to have a great pre-race Easter celebration in the evening time hosted by best-selling author and speaker Max Lucado, who has appeared many times on TBN television. So he's definitely a proponent of the Word of God. He has a lot of that in his writing, if you ever read some of his material. And I feel like Max Lucado is definitely a great speaker to be at this event. In addition, you're going to have worship leader Chris Tomlin is going to be there. In addition, before the race, there will be the pre-race invocation as there is for every race. This will be led by Mike Reif, who is the pastor of the Van Sant Church of Christ in Virginia. So as a Christian, I feel like NASCAR has done a good job and Speedway Motorsports has done a good job to provide us with a great opportunity to still celebrate the Easter holiday and what that means. Now, obviously, you know, everyone's invited. You don't have to attend this. You know, there's nothing that says that a person has to go to church. It's definitely, you know, recommended to definitely listen to the Easter ceremonies, though, because a lot of times that's quite frankly when the sermons are the best at most churches. I don't think that what they're going to be doing at Bristol Motor Speedway will be any exception. I think they will bring a powerful message about the Word of God to people who want to be there and listen. I myself, even though I will be having the fortunate opportunity to work media before this race, I probably plan to go check this out. First of all, from the media standpoint, I want to see what Max Lucado is going to be there speaking about. I want to see if there's a chance to maybe interview Max Lucado, get his takes on everything. In addition to those who just say, well, you know, you have to be inside of a church on Easter Sunday. You know, I've actually done a little bit of research on this. There's a few Bible verses I've looked up and, you know, kind of like to read and kind of get my takes on what that means as, you know, from the Christian standpoint about this race weekend. Hebrews 10, 25. Let us not give up meeting together, as some are in the habit of doing, but let us encourage one another, and all the more you see the day approaching, as it says in the NIV. Basically meaning, if we are part of the Christ body, we will recognize our need to fit into the body of believers. The church is the place where we come together to encourage one another as members of Christ's body. Together we fulfill an important purpose on the earth. How I read that tells me, That the church is not necessarily a church building. The church is where we choose to celebrate the message and the Word of God. In this case, on Sunday, I will be doing that among other believers of God at Bristol Motor Speedway. That's how I see that, at least. Now, does that mean that I should skip every church service as a Christian to attend a NASCAR race? No, it doesn't. I don't believe that the Bible says that. The Bible does believe in Christians worshiping together. But, you know, in my case, I have a common community at the church that I attend every Sunday with my wife. So, yes, we do enjoy going to our church every Sunday. But I do believe that the church can also be where you make it to be. In this case, on Sunday at Bristol Motor Speedway, that'll be my church. I have a couple of other Bible verses I looked up as well and like to kind of read those and get my thoughts on those as well. The book of John, chapter 4, verses 23 and 24, says that Jesus' statement to the woman clearly asserts that the worship of God is not about venues, sites, or structures. Thus, he says, The hour is coming when you will worship the Father neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem. Worship will be in spirit and truth. 
that's a good statement and a good message for what I am believing about this Sunday's race at Bristol Motor Speedway. Yeah, we will be celebrating our favorite sport here on this earth, NASCAR. We'll be watching NASCAR provide entertainment. But me as a Christian, I have that opportunity to gather with other Christians at Bristol Motor Speedway before the race. I'm choosing to do so. If anyone else wants to join me there, hey, feel free to be there. But going back to what that just said, it asserts that the worship of God is not about venues, sites, or structures. That being the church, the church building. It's not about a building that you have to be in. It's about what that means as gathering, as Christians, as fellow believers in God, to celebrate what that Easter holiday means, which in that case is Jesus' death resurrection from the cross. The Bible also says that the Holy Spirit is present whenever believers gather together, and it says that in Matthew chapter 18, verse 20. So yes, in that sense, your church on Sunday is your church. That is your community where you meet together, you eat together, etc. But likewise, as a Christian at Bristol Motor Speedway, the church can be where we make it to be, and that's how I see it. I'm personally looking forward to this weekend's race at Bristol Motor Speedway. I think they've done an excellent job of accommodating me as a Christian as well as others, to having a chance to still celebrate what Easter Sunday means. And, you know, that's how I feel about it. I don't know how you guys feel about it. But, you know, this is an open line of communication. You know, I'm I'm perfectly fine being honest about my faith with you guys. I have no reason to deny that. It does mean no harm. It does mean no good to do that. But I'm happy to share that with you guys. Let me know what you guys think about this weekend's race to Bristol Motor Speedway. You going to watch it? You going to be there? Let me know what you think. You know, you still have the opportunity to go to church that morning if you want to. And I might still do that. Just not sure. But I will be there for the celebration before the race outside the track. So, in a way, I'm still going to gather with fellow Christians and celebrate the holiday. Thanks for watching today's video. Look forward to seeing you guys this weekend. I'll be bringing you some good media coverage from the race this weekend couple of announcements we're keeping our eye on there at Bristol Motor Speedway, so stay tuned to the channel. And uh, we'll get back to more serious NASCAR topics next week, but for the Easter holiday, I felt like this was a good video to do. Until next time, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye, guys. Hey, race fans. Thanks for watching this video from Danny B. Talks. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to hit subscribe and click the notification bell so you never miss another video from my channel.